What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. We got the new truck back behind us, the 2015 Tradesman, and we're gonna go over the truck, the project, what we're gonna be doing with it, what the gist is of this build and why we're gonna do it the way that we are. Stay tuned, hopefully guys, Enjoy the video. The first off, like I said, it is a 2015 Tradesman. It's got 57,000 miles on it. It's got that navy blue. I don't know about you guys, but I really like, if you really look at this paint in the light, it's super, super cool. It's a unique color. I didn't think I'd be that much of a fan of it, but it does look really, really good. In terms of the truck, in terms of performance stuff, the truck is currently running a 60 horsepower tow tune, which I believe is activated by a switch. Other than that, it does not have like a five position or anything like that to where you can really ramp the power up like crazy and really do any damage to the truck, you know what I mean? So really all it's running is that tow tune because it's a little bit safer than, you know, anything else. And then in terms of the exhaust, it's a five inch from the turbo back. It is pretty loud, but it does sound really, really good, especially those cold starts and getting this thing fired up when it's cold out. It runs and sounds just really, really good with that exhaust on it. In terms of the chrome, let me go over kind of what my thoughts are with the chrome and how to fix that, get that the way we want it. So. In terms of this truck, I'm not a hater of chrome. I don't like hate chrome, but with this truck and the application, I'd like to delete the chrome. In other words, I'm gonna try to get in touch with Miguel, the paint guy, and we're gonna see if he can basically paint match the chrome bumpers, front and rear, and then pretty much the only chrome we're gonna leave in the front. And I don't know if I'll have him paint this or not, but I might just leave like the inserts here that he had done with the grill. I might just leave those chrome, but other than that, paint match everything else. In terms of headlights, I'm not certain on what route we're gonna go but we are gonna change those out I might get in touch with somebody on Instagram and see if he can build us a custom set for this truck that's kind of got like a paint match housing and stuff because I think that look really good for this application in terms of the wheels I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the wheels yet um, they are new wheels and the tires are new too so it'd be kind of a shame to just you know chuck them aside and sell them for dirt cheap because well let's be honest Although they're Moto Metals, they are brand new still. And the Toyo MTs are definitely a good tire option. In terms of the mirrors, I think the guy paint matched them himself, but I'm gonna just have Miguel look it over and see if we can do anything else with that to make it look 100% just like the truck as if there's no tone change in the paint coloring. Coming around to the back, we do have the chrome bumper as well. And I already kind of mentioned, I'm gonna try to have the paint guy color match this rear bumper. We're gonna have to change out the taillights because I don't think you can just buy like an individual one of these aftermarket taillights. So we're gonna have to get both. Like I said in the previous video, he's going to be fixing this little nick there. There's somewhere on the door, there's a little ding, but it's hard to find. That's how little it is. I look these trucks over as thorough as I can, but there's a little ding somewhere on the door. Oh, right here. And I'm going to have Miguel fix that too, just so that that's done and that's all good. But in terms of that, that's all the truck needs in terms of work on the body. In terms of the suspension on the truck right now, it's just a two and a half inch up front. It's running 35s. We're running 35 by 1250s on here and 20 by 12s they do rub a little bit right before full lock on the inner fender but other than that it's not bad it's a very very usable setup it hardly rubs but it does a little bit once you get closer to a full lock he does have wheel well lighting in here and I think it's that lighting where you can change it on an app and do any color you want, all that stuff, different tones and shades and all that jazz. It does have a four link rear suspension setup, which some people say, you know, for heavy towing, it's not ideal. But for the guy that doesn't do a ton of towing, but he still wants to have the capability of a big truck, the truck still will haul anything you want it to. But for the guys that are not towing all the time, it does give it a way softer ride in the rear end. And I do notice that a big difference because I've had a few trucks with just the leaf packs and a solid axle across the back. But I've owned two Ram 3500s recently that had just the solid axle with the lead packs on top and that's it. And it still does have a solid axle on the rear end, but it doesn't have the lead packs as the four link suspension back there with the coils in the center riding over the axle. It's not like the number one option for like towing necessarily. It still gets the job done, but it just rides way softer. It rides like a cloud. So I don't know with this truck, what should we do? So we're gonna do the custom lighting front and rear. We're gonna get rid of the chrome on the front and the rear. And the tint is already done. It's actually pretty dark. I think it's five all the way around except for the windshield. I could be wrong, windshield could be 5'2", but I'm guessing it's not quite 5. It kind of looks like a 20% to me. But anyway, so in terms of suspension, do we change it up completely or not? And hear me out. So for this truck, like most of our trucks, at some point this truck I'm sure will be a giveaway truck. So just stay tuned for that kind of info. But if it were your truck, comment that gets comments that get the most likes will make the biggest decision. Would you rather see the truck stay like this for usability sake, or would you rather see the truck like 5 
inch lift with the leveling kit up front. So it's like seven inches of clearance and putting like Frosty's wheels and tires on this since Frosty didn't get picked. And then like swapping these wheels and tires out onto, let's say a different truck of ours or just keeping them as a spare set. And then putting the 35 by 1550s and 24 by 14s on here with a big lift on it and just looking crazy. And then Frosty will have the 38 by 1350s on it and the 16 by 10s. Um, but just let me know, would you guys go big? or keep it more practical, let me know down in the comment section below. And of course, we gotta get a startup for you guys. Well, everybody, I'm actually on my way now to pick up my buddy Zadok. And Zadok is actually family, he's a cousin of mine, and we're gonna be working together on a few different things. So he's gonna help me out with some social media stuff like TikTok, which I just started a TikTok a few days ago. Followers are climbing pretty good. We're starting to get a little bit of traction on there. I need some more attention on some of those posts though to try to help it get a little more action going. So if you guys can follow me on TikTok, it's LNP underscore diesel. What we're gonna be doing the rest of the day, I'm gonna pick up Zadok and he's gonna help me film some of those TikToks. And then we're also gonna be trying to film some other content stuff. We're gonna try to get some rollers of this truck for you guys to make it a little bit more entertaining any chance we get and we're also going to possibly do a segment at the end where we rate subscribers trucks so stay tuned for that it's going to be pretty funny because Zadok is not a diesel guy he's really not even a big truck guy at all he's been around them he's driven them but but he's not a guy that's like obsessed with diesels like me so this could be pretty good rolling okay guys so now for this segment of the video we're going to be having Zadok and I rating your guys' trucks. I'm gonna have him start out with the rating on what he thinks and why, and then it's basically just like a one to 10 and why he rated it that. Keep in mind though, he doesn't own a big truck, he doesn't drive a big truck daily, he's not like a crazy diesel fanatic like I am, but he is around trucks plenty to kind of know the difference between a big jacked up truck and not and two wheel drive and a four wheel drive. So let's check this out. Okay, so it's an Escalade with like some mud terrains and a lift on it. It's not diesel, but technically it does still have the same engine that they put in the GM trucks. Mm. 03, it's got 35 inch tires, 20 inch wheels, a seven inch lift on it. I think he's into your truck as well. And then for the 0760 Ford, that has a seven inch lift on it. Here's the Ford, I'm gonna show you the Ford. It's an 0760. Okay, so what would you rate that truck? Well, one out of 10, the way it sits. I, why would you rate it then? I'd say a six, because it doesn't look like he's done much to it. I'd get new wheels and tires for sure. Okay, so here's my rating on that truck. Now, you guys have to take this into consideration. This is just a number. It's not like, oh dude, piece of crap truck, blah, blah. No, that's not it. It's just, it's just a number. This is all just for fun. So I would rate that truck a five out of 10. And here's why. A, I'm just more of like an aggressive mud train tire type of guy. So that's just my preference. The wheels, I would probably go with like something that's got a little bit, a little bit deeper lip on it. And I'd color match the chrome in the front end. And I know that I've had some trucks with chrome in the front end. I'm not saying that, you know, my trucks have always been built perfect for everybody else's standards. But like for what I would prefer if I was just like, you know, got to pick whatever I wanted on this particular truck, I would do color match the whole front end, wider wheels and tires, and paint match the mirrors and stuff like that. But other than that, I mean- It's in good shape too. No, but, no, but other than that, it's a, it's a sweet truck. So let's get on to the next one here. Let's look for another one. Let's look for one that's slightly modded out. This one, you can't see all of it, but you can see the side shot of it. I'm gonna rate his. He watches the videos relentlessly. This guy always comments likes, all that stuff. So I feel like I should probably rate this truck. It's a 12 out Cummins. It's got 4K governor springs, ARP head studs, billet trans with Suncoast converter, 60 pound valve springs, 362 SXE turbo, the original clapped out body. Oh, what would you rate that truck for being a 96 12 out? I'd say that truck in 8.5. 8.5. Yeah. Why would it be an 8.5 to you? For one, he has decent wheels and tires on there. It makes it look better. I like the black. Definitely a fan of the 12 valve from when Malachi first started up. That's what your yeah. brother drives every day. And that's what my brother drives every day. So, And I love that body style, how it's smaller than the newer ones. For example, yeah. second gen right behind us. It's this exact same body style, just 12 out. It's a 96. Honestly, I would rate that truck a seven and a half. And here's why seven and a half. And I'm sorry if you guys don't like the way I'm rating these. I like the wheel and tire combo. I like that look on that truck. The only things that I would say would be a little bit of a pet peeve of mine 
is the stack in the bed. I like stacks on certain trucks. They suck for like when you're driving long distance. When I didn't do a lot of driving, it was cool. But now that I drive a ton, I wouldn't stack a truck just because it is obnoxiously loud and it shakes the glass on the whole cab. It's rough. And I can't tell if the front end is leveled out or not. I would probably also tint the truck. I've done quite a few trucks that I've tinted 5% all the way around. Looking at this picture, I could be wrong. If it doesn't have tint, it's only like a 20 or 30-ish percent. But it's a good looking truck. Definitely like that truck. You can do a ton with that truck. There's so much you can do with those things. And in terms of making them look just the way you want, that's literally within just a few simple upgrades to change it. <laughs> oh, this is the truck I just bought. <laughs> okay, he threw a curveball at it. This is the guy I actually just bought that truck off of. These are the pictures that he sent me when I was looking at it a couple weeks back. Okay, well, you guys can see it here. It's a picture of that fourth gen that I just bought. This is kind of like, you know, we already own the truck, so we completely see it. We know how it drives and everything else. What would you rate that truck the way that it is? I like that truck. I'd rate it probably an 8.5 or 9. What would you change about it to I make mean, it that perfect 10? I'd probably change the grill. In terms of me, I would rate this truck an 8. I know it kind of sounds a little bit biased because I'm rating it the highest so far, the first three. The reason I'm rating it an 8 is I personally is the complete opposite of what he just I don't like chrome a lot. I can put up with some chrome, but I don't like the chrome on that color. I feel like that color would look really clean if it was all that like midnight navy blue. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like the grill and the bumper is all matched and the headlights were pulled out from being stock ones and you put like aftermarket projector color matched headlights and the whole housing was navy blue too with like some cool real sick projectors in the rear bumper. Color matched chrome gone and color matching it the navy blue too. I think that would look just perfect. But in terms of the leveling kit on it and the 35s and the 20 by 12s, it's a very daily drivable setup. Okay, so we're gonna check out another one here. Looks like it's an 03 to 05 body style. Common Rail Cummins. He's got the black and white stuff going on. He's got the black grill, black wheels. He's got the white paint, black mirrors, black handles. What would you rate that <clears throat> truck one out of 10? I'd say a nine. I like the look of it. I like the wheels and tires on it as well. <clears throat> He's got some rock stars on there. It's an 05, 178,000 miles, twin turbo setup. You just up my rating there a little bit. Fast fuel system, six and a half inch BDS lift, aftermarket valve cover, and more. There's under the hood. Mm, that is beautiful. Just so you can see. Looks like he's got an ETS intake system, compound turbos. No, I'd, I'd give that thing a 9.5. My rating for him, I'd probably give him a nine too. Honestly, I like how clean the truck is. Um, when you zoom in, I don't see any rust on any of the fenders. Yeah. I don't see any big dents, dings, bashes, nothing. I do like the white and black look. I'm kind of a sucker for that look. It looks really good. His interior too for an 05 is really clean. Yeah, it's not it's like really all beat to crap. Like it's a really nice interior truck. The power setup under the hood, that's what got him an extra point or two there. Just cause it's not just like, hey, I got a big lift, cool looking truck with nothing done to push this thing down the road. He's like, I got the big lift, the big wheels and tires, and I threw more power under the hood, push that thing faster down the road. Let's check this one out. I'm gonna show this to you guys real quick, and I'm just going through my most recent DMs. It's an 0124 valve, 100 horse injector, South Bend Dualist clutch, it's a six speed manual, it's got a fast 150, edge juice with attitude, compound turbo setup, ARP headsets, cold air intake, sinister diesel, intake horn, four inch turbo back exhaust to a six inch stack. I, I actually really like that one. I'd give that one a 9.5 as well. I really love the front end and also the wheels and tires. It does and look good. I like the chrome that goes around the bottom it's side. Whole strip it says black bottom. smoke. That's pretty sick. Yeah, that looks good. I'd probably give it an eight. I mean, it's honestly a really sick setup and I do love the 24 valves and the 12 valves. I wasn't a huge fan of the 24 valves till I bought one. Even though my wife owns one, I just wasn't a huge fan of them till I owned one. I'm like, these are really cool, really fun to drive trucks. And the only reason why I'm not gonna give it a full 10 or close to that is the chrome. <laughs> I'm the complete opposite, so this is good. My preference would be getting rid of all the chrome strip, all the chrome badging, you know, all that stuff just because it can hide rust over time. I guess if you live in a super dry area where you don't get a lot of salt and snow and rain and stuff, uh, mostly the salt, you ain't got to worry about it much. But for me personally, I'm a huge fan of that. But other than that, I like the wheel and tire setup. It's clean. It's simple. It's a very usable truck. Yeah, and I like that. I like that. And he built it to pull his trailer, clearly, and pull tractors around because he did the compounds and all that jazz. So let's find another one here. Okay, so here's an LB7 Duramax right there. Yeah. Get you another picture here, a little more justice. There's a side shot. This is for the Duramax boys. 
And for the record, just because I haven't bought another Duramax yet does not mean I don't like it because I do. It looks clean. It is clean. I really like it. I've always liked Duramaxes. They sound really good. Yeah, they sound good. They look sleek. They have a lot of stock power. Yeah. Honestly, they really do. So I'd say I'd probably give that a nine. I definitely like it. I love the color on it as well. The dark with the silver accent. I mean, I like it. I'm a fan of it. O2 LB7 Duramax leveled on 315s. Double 5% tint all the way around, which means like it's painted. Like <laughs> you can't see in the cab. He's got a 5% double brow on the top and bottom. It's got a fast 165, 10% over injectors, SMB cold air intake, stealth turbo, DHD downpipe, diamond I 5 inch exhaust, 6 inch tip, EFI live with an edge monitor. I would rate the truck at an 8.5. I'm not a huge fan of the LB7s. That doesn't mean they're a bad truck just because I'm not a huge fan of them. I feel like I would color match the front end on that and just so you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the chrome in the grill, the bar goes across in the chrome on the bottom. Them. I would probably color match those two things. I'd probably do that in the mirrors and I'd probably get rid of the badging down the sides. I'd give it a couple more inches of lift and stance it out just a little bit. I know it's tough with the Chevy stuff and the GM stuff, but I just feel like I would really top it off. That's going to be the end of it for rating the trucks in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys want to be a part of the next time we do this, go to my Instagram page at loud and proud underscore diesel trucks. Submit your trucks to the DM if we are requesting truck pictures to rate. Anyways guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok at LNP underscore diesel and then follow me on instagram as well subscribe to the youtube channel and we'll catch you guys in the next video peace